Hey there, so today we have another review. This is Dead Guy Pilsner, one of the beers they sent. Um, their take on Pilsner. They say it's going to be herbal and floral. We'll see how it turns out. For Pilsner, um, 5%, okay. 34 IBUs, right in the range, 4.8 SRM. I'm curious if it is um, German or Czech inspired, but we'll see. Why can I got the little, actually, there's something like this, pretty cool. A pin, I'm curious what to do with that pin, but. That's a cool pin. I wish there's more use of pins, but I don't know what to do with that. So, um, I assume it's gonna be a little bit more German inspired or American inspired. Who knows? Um, definitely not. I guess German maybe because uh, it is very hazy, unfiltered. Uh, beer comes in a light gold color. Um, honestly, this is just as hazy as their hoppy ale, so it's pretty crazy. Uh, wonderful white head on that. It smells pretty good, yeah. Nice clean lager fermentation. Um, light doughy malt to it a little bit of kind of like stinky maybe lightly sulfury thing which i love just a little bit and then a little bit of like herbal um noble hop character a little okay yeah not very snappy interesting not very snappy Bitterness here? What do they call it? bitterness on the guy? So bitterness is going. So basically, the star is like you know the black is like you know what is one, two, three, four, five. They go two out of five. Yeah, two out of five on bitter. Hmm. I would go like three out of five on bitter. Well, I guess for well, I guess it's really not. It's it's hard. Like, are we in the realm of pilsner? Or are we in the realm of just bitter beer? Like hoppy beer, sorry. Two out of five beer. Two out of five, that's fair. Because if you include IPAs, and obviously, like, IPAs can be three, five, six, uh, three, four, five. Two out of five. Okay, I hear you. Floral? Yeah. Three out of five. Herbal? Three out of five. Cool. Sweet? One out of five, yeah. Yes, this beer is malty, but not necessarily sweet. And then malt, they go two out of five. I'd probably go three out of five. Mm. But then again, in the realm of other beers, like an amber-ish kind of beer, or a porter would be, or a porter would be like four or five, four, four or five out of five. Um, an amber beer would be three out of five. So you put this at two? Yeah, they put this at two. <laughs> I guess they actually thought about how this thing works. So in the realm of beer, this is going to be a moderately herbal floral beer with medium minus bitterness, Medium minus malt and low sweetness. I guess that's fair. <laughs> How do I describe it? Um, so it comes in with a nice kind of like herbal base tone to it. Um, I can see the beer being a little bit more bitter. Um, the beer really doesn't have any snappiness to it. Uh, doesn't sell German to me at all. Um, doesn't have that refreshing like you know kick to it. I think the water they've used is probably relatively soft. Um, yeah. They're probably treating it, you know, this is their take on Pilsers. Like, it doesn't have to taste like Germany or uh, Czech, but it's definitely not German. So maybe it's a little bit more Czech. Looks good. Ooh. Not drink it more. Probably a little bit more Czech inspired. Um, does it have Sats? I don't think so. It honestly probably tastes like German hops. So you get, like, non-snappiness. So not really quite German, but then you get this, the, the, the floral, the, the hop character of German which is, to me, um, a little bit grassy, lemon, slightly earthy, yeah? It could be Zots. It could be Zots. I don't know. <laughs> That's the weird thing about these Noble Hops. They're, 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 it's even like the brewers that I, I listen to. Uh, oh, what is it? Um, the, the brewer, uh, Toft, uh, I think it's like Toft, uh, Eric Toft or something. At the Shonan, uh, Shonan is one of like the famous uh, lager breweries in the country uh, in, in Germany. Industry professionals, craft beer and brewing magazine, like all the you know all the all the Americans that love lager, or, you know, hype up lager. Like Shonan is considered like some of the best in the world. The, the tasting notes on these these hops are not expressive like Cascade, you know, like American hops. Like they they just don't have these distinctive flavor notes. They're just so um, much about subtlety, right? 
And this maybe was something for me to attack one day. Like, you know, you know, if you ever go for master, like maybe something to attack one day where you, you pick out the nuances of like, you know, um, certain floral flowers and the nuances of noble hops. But um, I don't know where I'm at on that. How's the beer? It's good. Um, it's not a very snappy beer, but it's fine. Um, honestly, this is um, the sweetness is just sitting at a really nice place. And the bitterness is a little bit restrained for me. Um, it's a nice pilsner. I mean, it's just it's a good pilsner. Uh, I think in the lineup, maybe it would have like you know show more faults and A/B testing would you know if you had one or the other, it would show different things. But right here, right now, I'm drinking a pretty tasty pilsner. It has um, medium to medium, not medium minus bitterness, not too sweet, uh, decent rich malt character for a pilsner. Uh, Definitely not snappy. Um, I do it more, a little bit earthy. Some grass and full on the finish. Good beer. It's good beer. That's a good solid 90. Uh, Dead Guy Pilsner. Solid, solid Pilsner. Um, I'm going to say cheers later.